Okay then YouTubers, welcome to uh, Thursday Physics Fun. I've uh, I've got something which everyone probably has seen. Um, a slinky, it's a little plastic one. I'm at home due to this lockdown, so um, I'm working on my office desk and I'm gonna see if we can look at waves. Okay, so I'm gonna put a ruler down here. Let's just make some marks. I'm coming up with a sort of a scale. I'll explain to you, hold on, we'll see what it means in a second. So we've got some marks, so I've got one here, that's going to be zero, which is just off camera. That's 10 centimetres, 20, 30, 40, and 50, okay? And so what we're actually getting here, this is going to be an indication of lambda, which is our wavelength. Okay, so I'm going to try and measure wavelength of a transverse wave and then I'm going to go from, let's just do it from here as a zero point and we'll do the same thing. So let's go in 5, 10, 15 is off camera I think again, but we've got 10, 5 and 0. So this direction, because we're only getting a rough idea, this is the amplitude okay so we've got wavelength and an amplitude sort of a scale there to look at so I'm just going to have a go at making a wave and we'll see if we can work some stuff out okay so here we go so I'll stretch my slinky and it's going to gradually disappear my scale which is not so good but there you go so at the moment that's an amplitude of about five okay and the wavelength that's a bit more tricky because there's the sort of three ups and downs. So 50 centimetres then actually gives you one and a half. So it's sort of two, if you think about two thirds of 50 centimetres or two thirds of half a metre is the wavelength. Now if we just, I'm going to put a bit more energy in. There we go. And I've got a similar idea, but let's see if I can get, I just want an up and a down. I mean, that's more like half a metre wavelength but 10 centimetres amplitude. You can see I'm putting in more energy. And if I go even more, there, 15 centimetres. And I'm still getting a sort of, it's almost 50 centimetres for a wavelength. That's, there you go, that's 50 centimetres. And it's a 15 centimetre amplitude. Now, okay, so let's get rid of my little scale. So we've had a go at that. So it'll be more tricky this one. We'll do a longitudinal wave um, and it's a bit harder to see what's going on. I'm not going to use a scale this time, but I'm going to send the pulses in parallel. So watch. Pulse down. Now what's confusing is me holding this bit, but the problem is if I let go, it doesn't do anything. So let's hold it and recognise that this end will have a reflection, which waves do reflect, like light does. But it makes it more complex. So I send a pulse, the particles, or the, think about all the little rings, they move backwards and forwards to show the particles going backwards and forwards. So it's not side to side. So my wave might be traveling in that direction on, on both of them, but on the transverse, it's side to side. On the longitudinal, it's going push and pull, isn't it? Now, okay. Let's see if I could do something special. So I'm going to try and create a standing wave pattern again. And so I'm going to do multiple pushes. And when they come back again, they interact to create, to create a compression of a standing wave. You can see the compression where it's really, really green, where it keeps going compressed. And you can see where it's spreading out. So I'm actually getting two compressions there. And where it's a compression to a compression, which is roughly here, that's the wavelength. That's about 10 centimeters wavelength, maybe 12. Let's try again. So there you go, a couple of compressions. So you've seen a longitudinal wave and a transverse. So happy watching. Thursday Physics Fun.